What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. It is raining. Happy day. So anyway, we're about to go eat at Cozy, but before we did that, uh, Banana Republic, a factory store, we never realized that um, they're actually right next to Trader Joe's Cozy where we go all the time. The reason we came, they have a 50% off sale, so Paula got some things. Uh, Just yeah. a sweater and a jacket. So let's walk. walk. So um, I wanted to try on a t-shirt, and something I've done before on video is in the middle of the store I'll take off my shirt. Ooh, it's dark. I'll take off my shirt and try on a shirt, but it was kind of crowded here, so I wasn't going to do that. So a woman who was worked there, she's like, you won't believe what someone did here the other day. He took a shirt off in the middle of the store, and he tried on a shirt. And I'm like, right really? I'm like, wow, how could anyone do that? <laughs> so I uh, tried it on in the exchanging room, and it didn't fit. But anyway, we're walking to Cozy, and we'll talk to you in a second. currently waiting for the food. I got a turkey avocado sort of pull up. Uh, while we do that though, I did mention this in my last video. I'm going to be putting up a Q&A on my Instagram in the next couple days. If you guys want to ask me a question, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's at AFAU. It's, I'll put it on the screen right here. It's A-P-F-A-U. Just follow me on there when I post that later this week. You can ask a question there. Or if you want to ask a question on here, do that as well and I'll make sure to address it in the video that I put up probably in the next week or two. I see the sandwiches waiting on the ledge. Come on, bring them over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi. <laughs> so the food finally came. We saw it just sitting there for a while, so it's no longer too warm. So let's show you what we got. So we both got the same exact thing. It's turkey avocado. So basically it's turkey avocado for el abogado. That's lawyer in Spanish, if you didn't know. Uh, arugula and yogurt sauce. So uh, we also got carrots, we're going to eat this, we're going to enjoy, and then we're going to get froyo. We also got some carrots. Last time Adam was a little disappointed because they didn't have carrots and he was really looking forward to a little package of carrots. But now we got them, right? Alright, we are headed for froyo now. But I actually haven't had Froyo since we uh, moved in together because I've been doing the Arctic Zero thing, so I'm just going to get cheesecake bites. I'm uh, getting Froyo. Just just random thought. I don't know why this popped into my head. The other day I saw this new earbud thing. Basically, you wear these earbuds and it translates the languages around you. So like, if you don't speak Spanish, you can wear the earbuds and then speak to someone in Spanish. So I was all ready. I was going to buy it. I was going like, to surprise Paul, not even tell her about it, just like sit around her family while they're speaking Spanish and understand it um, but then I learned that it's still like in the prototype phase and for you to it does work but for you to use it with other people they need to be like, aware that you have it and they need to have the earbuds themselves but still it's pretty cool that they are working on a version in the future where you're gonna actually be able to wear earbuds and understand and speak to people of different languages even though you don't speak the language yourself and it's kind of cool how technology is evolving and when that comes out I will get it no matter what the cost. In the meantime, he should still try to learn Spanish. I agree. <laughs> Alright, let's get for you. Yeah, Such a crappy weather. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx! A lot of the time we actually say the same exact things and we finish each other's sentences. But most of the time we're thinking the same exact thing, we just say it in different words. Yeah, if you ever saw uh, How I Met Your Mother, where Marsha and Lily can have conversations with each other without opening their mouth, that's kind of what we do. But then we have the actual conversation opening our mouth, just to confirm that we were able yeah. to have the conversation without opening our mouth. And every time we do that, it's confirmed. We just like look at each other and go like, yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> uh, okay, throw your tongue. So we got a large cup. They always have the best reactions when they see that the, the massive cup with only cheesecake bites in it. They pick it up like really quick, thinking it's gonna be like heavy, and then it's not. Hi. What? You want to test what I'm like for you? Yeah. Salted caramel, yogurt chips, cheesecake bites, some crushed Doreos, whipped cream on top. 
The usual. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the cheesecake bites out and put them here. And now we're going to put this. I should have used a bigger spoon, but we're gonna put this in here. Now we'll throw in some cheesecake bites in the middle. Then we'll put the rest in. Oh, look, there's still like, it's so compact in here that this is like still halfway and this is like almost filled to the top. Now we'll put the cheesecake bites on top. I've lost one, man down! Ten. Voila. So he takes his big cup with like a little bit of cheesecake bites. So. So you can put it in perspective, that's the Arctic Zero cup, and that's the big cup that he takes with only cheesecake bites. You see why people think he's crazy? Yeah, well, look at the macros on this bad boy compared to what it would have been if I just got that. So Whatever, that's delicious. We're going to enjoy this, and uh, I think I'll film tomorrow's bench press workout, so I'll see you there. All right, so we are headed to the gym now. It's Sunday morning. Uh, Paula's not with me. She's gonna meet me there. It's bench day today. We have um, five sets of seven. I can't. I keep forgetting the percentages on the program. It's five sets of seven. I think it's 215 pounds. So I did five three one for so long that the percentages were like ingrained in my head. But with this Oga 753, honestly, I calculate it beforehand, and I forget what I'm even doing. But 215 pounds, five sets of seven. As for the accessory exercise, uh, I'm doing 8 to 10 reps. 8 to 10 reps is actually my favorite one because it's not too heavy and not too light. It allows me to do a decent amount of weight and still get a nice pump. So it's my favorite week for accessories. Um, someone said in another video, why am I flexing when I'm driving? I'm not flexing. This is just what my arm looks like while I drive. But anyway, it's pouring. I'm going to focus on driving. And I'll see you in the gym in just a bit. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. Uh, so I'm going to take you through this workout. But while you watch the footage, what I really wanted to talk about was finding a program and just sticking to the program and trusting the programming. Uh, if you watched like my videos when I was doing five through one a couple of months ago, the last few weeks especially, I was lifting very heavy. My deadlifts were in the mid 400s. My squats were in the mid um, 300s. Benching, I was close to 300 pounds, so I was lifting very heavy, and it's very easy to see that when you're lifting heavy, you should theoretically get stronger. So now that I'm doing five, um, not five through one. Now that I'm doing Oga seven five three, I reset my maxes. I did all, I took the 90 percent. So obviously, I'm lifting a lot lighter weights than I was lifting when I was at the end of five three one, and it kind of feels to me. Like, I'm, like, do I still have that strength? Like, do, can I still squat over 400 pounds? Can I still deadlift over 500 pounds? Since I haven't really deadlifted much above 400 pounds, it kind of feels like I might be losing that strength. But you have to get past that. I have to get past that. And you have to just trust the programming, trust the process. Sometimes I do want to go to the gym. Today I felt really good, but I'm only benching 215 pounds for seven reps. I felt like I could have probably maybe even hit a PR, but... You just you can't do that because you can't look at one day at a time and think oh maybe I can hit a PR today. You have to look at it in the future. You have to look at it long term. Uh, when you choose a program, you shouldn't choose a program unless you trust the program, you trust who wrote it, and you trust the process. Like you should be doing your research before you hop onto a program, not while you're doing the program and having second thoughts. So. Basically, that's what I'm doing. That's what you should be doing. That's what I did with 531. That's what I'm doing with Oga 753. It's too early to know if it's working because I haven't gotten to the point of testing my maxes to see if I've gotten stronger. But I wouldn't have hopped on this program to uh, in the first place if I didn't think it would work. And I wouldn't have hopped on 531 if I didn't think it would work. So that's what I recommend for you guys. Don't just choose a program out of thin air. Do your research beforehand. And then once you... Once you get on that program, stick to the program and trust the process. Don't start maxing out randomly. Don't go off what the program is supposed to be because you shouldn't have chosen that program in the first place if you didn't think that it was going to be right for you. So at least 
stick to the program, do it for a few months. Then, at the, if you don't like what, what you've seen, you don't like the results or the lack of results, then you could change. But you shouldn't be picking a program and then strength from the program only later to say that it didn't work because you don't know if it didn't work. You just didn't stick, stick to it or not. So I'm just going to say that one more time, wrapping it up. Do your research before you get on the program. Stick to the program. Trust the process. And then make your decision if it was if it worked or not. But don't 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 uh, take someone's program, not follow correctly, and then blame it at, for your lack of results. Um, so anyway, here I am doing barbell rows. I I've been doing pendulum rows for years, and I recently switched to barbell rows. I do like to keep my back kind of very close to parallel to the ground, almost similar to when I did pendulum rows. I see a lot of people do barbell rows where they stay way too upright. They end up using their traps, too much momentum. I'm not saying my form is perfect by any means. And just so you guys know, if you ever have any form comments, please tell me. I'm always open to criticism. I never think I have perfect form. But I do like the uh, the barbell rows. You can't go as heavy on them, but it's a good change of pace. I'm here. Back to the Arnold presses, still too early to know if these have any translation into my overhead press increasing. I hope they do, and you can see the rubber fell off on one side of the dumbbell. I hope they do, but it's still too early to know. In the meantime, I am enjoying the just changing it up. It gets a little boring sometimes doing the same exercises over and over again. I, the reason I'm doing Arnold presses and not straight dumbbell press, I do feel that the, the process of bringing the dumbbell down um, it's more similar to the overhead press where you bring it down to your upper chest. So I'm hoping by mimicking it with dumbbells closer, it'll have a bigger translation into overhead press. But what do you know? I'm sure I'm not going to get any stronger on that. Um, here are the workouts coming to an end. I am doing barbell curls that you see here. It's part of a, I guess you could call it a superset. I go from barbell curls, then we do some tricep pushdowns right after, and then we walk over and do some dumbbell lateral raises. Then I come back to the barbell curls and I do those again. Um, basically everything you've seen here, I did three sets on all the accessories. The only exception is I do five sets on the pull-ups, but everything else, even if you're only seeing one or two sets film, I do three sets on everything, um, just if you're wondering about that. And then that's pretty much the workout. So if you guys have any questions, you have any comments, I'm always open to criticism both on form or, or anything. Um, I don't think I'm perfect by any means, so I always do want to hear new ideas and new things. So far, Oga 753, I am enjoying it. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, uh, how I'm running it, let me know. Otherwise, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.